Hey, folks. How's it going? Today, we're going to delve into history and discover who were the wives of King David, a prominent figure in the Bible. Before we begin, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss any videos. Let's get started, shall we? King David An indelible figure in the Bible He was a humble shepherd who ended up becoming the greatest king of Israel. He defeated Goliath, a Philistine giant, with just a stone and a sling, becoming a hero in his village. Not only that, David was a remarkable leader, reigning for about 40 years and expanding the territory of Israel like never before. Under his rule, Israel became a great nation, prospering economically and flourishing culturally. His achievements were grand, but today, we'll focus on a different aspect of his life, his wives. Despite his accomplishments, David's personal life was quite tumultuous. He had multiple wives and concubines, something common in that era, but it led to many complications and conflicts. So, who were these women who shared their lives with one of the most famous kings in the Bible? What do their stories tell us about the time and about David himself? That's what we'll discover today. Let's begin with Michael, David's first wife. She was the daughter of King Saul, who initially favored David. The union between Michael and David was more of a political strategy than a marriage for love, as Saul hoped to use the relationship to lure and defeat David. However, Michael fell in love with David and became his defender. Their marriage, however, was far from peaceful. When Saul tried to kill David, Michael helped him escape, saving his life. She deceived her father's soldiers with an image in her bed, buying time for David to flee. However, subsequent events drove them apart. Saul gave Michael to another man, Palti, and she was only returned to David years later when he demanded it as a condition to make an alliance with Abner, Saul's cousin and commander of the army. The relationship between Michael and David further deteriorated after that. The Bible recounts an incident where Michael criticized David for dancing exuberantly in front of the servants during the entry of the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. David, in turn, responded to her with contempt. Despite all of this, Michael played an important role in David's history. Despite the turbulent marriage, she was the woman who saved him from her father and, in many moments, showed affection for him, a feeling not necessarily reciprocated by David. After Michael, David had two other significant wives, Ainoa and Abigail. Ainoa was from Jezreel, a place rich in agriculture and of strategic importance during battles. Abigail, on the other hand, was a woman of beautiful understanding and appearance, as described in the Bible. She was the widow of Nabal, a wealthy but harsh and difficult man. The story goes that Abigail prevented David from killing her husband and all the men of her household, seeking revenge for Nabal's disrespect. She did this by offering food and asking David for forgiveness on her husband's behalf. This wise and courageous action by Abigail impressed David, who, after Nabal's death, took her as his wife. Abigail, in turn, demonstrated great loyalty and wisdom, becoming an important figure in David's life. Moving on, we have Makkah, Haggith, Abidal, and Egla, for other wives of David, each with her own impact on the king's life. Maka was the daughter of Talmai, the king of Jezer, a region located north of Israel. She was the mother of Absalom, who later rebelled against David, and Tamar, who suffered a family tragedy. Haggith gave birth to David's second son, Adonijah, who also caused problems for David by attempting to usurp the throne before Solomon's reign. Abidal and Egla were also wives of David and mothers of some of his children. The Bible doesn't provide many details about their lives or their relationships with David. But we know that they were part of the complex family dynamic of the king and contributed to the continuity of his lineage. And finally, we come to Bathsheba, perhaps the most well-known and controversial wife of David. Bathsheba's story is intricate and full of drama, scandal, and redemption. Bathsheba was married to Uriah, a valiant Hittite soldier who served David loyally. 
One day, while Uriah was away at the battlefield, David saw Bathsheba bathing on the rooftop of her house. Enchanted by her beauty, David called her to the palace and ended up committing adultery with her, and she later discovered she was pregnant. In an attempt to cover up his mistake, David tried to make Uriah spend a night with Bathsheba so that he would think the child was his. But when Uriah refused to enjoy the comforts of home while his comrades were at war, David orchestrated his death on the battlefield. This dark chapter in David's life did not pass without consequences. The prophet Nathan severely reprimanded him, and the child Bathsheba carried died shortly after birth. However, from this tumultuous relationship marked by mistakes, Solomon was born. As promised by God to David, Solomon became one of the greatest kings of Israel, known for his wisdom and the construction of the temple in Jerusalem. As we can see, David's life was filled with plots of romance, conflict, wisdom, and tragedy represented by his various wives. Each of them played a significant role in his life and in the history of Israel. Each of David's wives represents a piece of Israel's history, its traditions, and the challenges faced during that time. We'll explore more details about this context in future videos. The life of King David and his wives is a fascinating narrative that gives us a unique glimpse into ancient history. Did you enjoy the video? Leave a comment below about what you thought and which story you'd like to see next. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next video.